Hey guys, I'm sorry that there was a little bit of a delay for this video. I know you've been waiting for it a while and I had a lot of comments requesting this. Uh, we're going to clean up this whole engine and we are going to put in new, well, we're not going to put in a new piston today or a new cylinder today. We'll do that when we get the parts. They should be here uh, by next week. Okay, we're going to get that all cleaned up and I've been really busy. We had a problem with the transmission on our big red four-wheeler, the CVT belt. Uh, had a, the whole case had a bunch of water in there, so I fixed that. It took me like three hours to do that. And we've been working on this little four wheeler right here a bunch, and we've been having quite a bit of fun doing that. And now we finally decided we need to get to work on this. So we got to clean it all up, make sure that there's no cracks or anything, because this did come off of that little dirt bike over there, and it was sitting through an entire winter. So, yeah, we got to make sure everything's all good. But the brakes still work great. The tires are pretty much new. And I think everything, everything should be just fine. Yeah, I just need to get a new fuel filter. And the gas line's actually not too bad. That's what I pulled right out of the carburetor. That's our jet needle and our plunger piece and our spring. All right, let's get to cleaning. So he's using some Super Tech carburetor cleaner. It's the cheapest stuff you can get. And it's very strong, has a lot of acetone in it. Then this stuff is not cheap, it's WD-40, pretty expensive, but it works really well too. Yeah, I'm just going to show them what we did before. We've had quite a bit of experience with two strokes. We did that whole bike build thing, and bikes right out there. We also have this engine right here, which is 90 years old, and we have started it up. And that was pretty awesome, we used WD-40 and SuperTech to clean it up. Good job. Yeah, make sure that there's no leaks. So, I know this older fellow, and he uh, told me that if it has any leaks or anything, it's not going to be able to function. Because this is linked up to the crank case, the carburetor is, and it goes through a reed valve into the crank case. Then it comes up with the piston and combusts. So you get pretty good lubrication with this setup. I like it. I think this is a, a cool little engine. 50 cc. Yeah, he's just getting everything cleaned up with metal brushes. So I'm going to pause this, and we will do some more cleaning work, and I'll show you. Actually, I kind of want to show you the first side before oh, we do shoot, officially. Shoot, there's loop. Yeah. Okay. So. Now show him the front side, because we also have to clean up the front side, too. It's very bad. Yeah, the carburetor will be cleaned very good, too. There's a magneto. It does have spark. We both got shocked by it. Yeah. All right. I'll go and show you the, the cylinder. So we got a new piston and a cylinder. We, oh, whoops, almost took one cord. <laughs> so the cylinder, he said that it didn't really need to be replaced, and I thought of that too, but he said it was a little scratched up in there because the ring came off of the piston and got all smushed up in there. And also there's a couple broken fins on here, so we're just going to get a new one. It's only going to cost us 10 bucks. It's going to cost us $17 for a piston with rings and a new cylinder. All right, let's get to cleaning. Yeah, we've also been a little busy because my brother and I uh, service vacuums for a job. Yep. Okay, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's what we've gotten so far. There's no cracks on this thing. We're just going to be perfectionists and really clean it out super, super good. Oh, there's a gasket. Uh, the new cylinder head comes with the gasket. So I can take that out if I can. I have cross country meet today, so I'm going to have to be done really soon. So we're going to end this video. That's what you can see so far. And we will have another video ready for you soon. Thanks for watching. And also stay updated for uh, this four wheeler right here. We've, we've almost cracked down the whole case. We've gone back from the carburetor to the fuel pump to the fuel tank. We took the whole fuel tank off and everything. I think we are almost done with this uh, restoration and build. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.